Hey guys, while I don't share low, hmm, European Union drops another bond share. See what is said about the Supreme Court of Nigeria. This case, don't they take another di dimension? And if Nigerian government is not careful, they go get issue before the international communities. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The EU Election Monitoring Unit has reported that the Supreme Court's decision to reinstate the former Senate President Ahmed Lawa to the upper legislative of House, even though he did not participate in the APC uh, preliminary primaries, has further tarnished his public image. The EU articulated this in its final document titled Election Observation Mission Nigeria 2023, which was published last week. The Nigerian Supreme Court's image remains tarnished following its decision to, rest, to, rest, to restore Senator Ahmed Lawa despite its non-participation in the Senate's primary elections. This goes against the rulings of both the, the, the superior and the appellate courts. The Supreme Court preserved Mr. Elawa, Senatorial Hopes, after a contentious political struggle with his ally, Bash, uh, Mach, Ma, Machina, the, the later declined to relinquish the APC ticket for the EUB North Senatorial District. Mr. Lawai initially pursued the ruling party's presidential nomination. However, after being defeated by the presidential uh, contender, Bola Tinubu, he attempted to reclaim his uh, district senatorial district uh, ticket, I beg your pardon. In an unexpected turn, Mr. Machina, the Yobe not senatorial ticket winner, declared his refusal to give it up under any conditions. The APC aimed to sideline Mr. Machana in his Lawas favor, requesting the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to accept the former Senate president as its 2023 senatorial candidate for UB North. On February 6, 2023, Mr. Lawa ultimately triumphed in a contentious Supreme Court ruling that was viewed as being compromised. Rochas Okorocha ridiculed Mr. Lawa during the Senate's farewell session regarding his return to the Senate without proper participation in the APC's senatorial primary. I did not run for the Senate this time. I only ran for the presidency. You are an astute politician. Your Senate return is a not worthy chapter in our political history that deserves examination, Mr. Okorocha remarked. Mr. Okorocha further taunted Mr. Lawar's disputed return to the Senate, emphasizing, I was on the campaign trial with you uh, for the presidency. I beg your pardon. I was on the campaign trail with you for the presidency i was unaware of how you managed to weave your way back leaving some of us behind you must show me how to do the next time to do it the next time okay guys with what you have heard now this is a very big worry you understand the nigerians should be worried about the issue in the presidential election petition court right now because this judiciary can never be trusted with their previous judgments and all that. You cannot see why Nigerians are worried. And they have to be very careful. Because the case before them now is a very, very sensitive one. No? You understand? You see how then they manipulate things. Person will not go for primary. He can't return. You know, as, uh, as what? This is really very shocking. This uh, APC government is tarnishing Nigerian image before the international communities. 
they will not be taking us seriously. But they don't know what they are doing. To them now, they are satisfying themselves. But they don't know that they are destroying the image of this country. You see how they, they do us outside Nigeria? It's because of what our leaders are doing. They are, they are, they are, they are so corrupt. In fact, from A reach Z, no one you go feel say make you can't come out. And that is why they don't see corruption as a sin. Now, Bola Metinubu don't start this uh, this initial gra 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 in the fight corruption. It's not that is not shocking to me because that is what President Muhammad Buhari still do when he come. He started with Magu and all that. Nigerians they say good, good, good. He want to cleanse the system. But his government happened to be the most corrupt government in the history of Nigeria and even the worst administration. Now they don't start again. Even with this, we understand that there is no light to understand. So Nigerians that is thinking that miracle is going to happen, just make up your mind that anything can happen. So that last last, you know, go get heart attack. In the in the same country, even with the case now in the judiciary. President Bola Metunbo have no stance to be Nigerian president. That is the truth. But we will not accept it. We are being blinded with uh, tribalism. What is happening now in Nigeria is they are playing politics of ethnic card. Yes, that is what is happening. We did not start with Bola Metunbo. During President Muhammad Buhari's uh, tenure, now so Northern has cast up, up, down, left, right, and center. Eh? Even when they are seeing the incompetency, glory before them, they say no. Their son, their brother, must continue the first tenor. When Nigerian says, see, this matter is a serious matter. This man wants to turn Nigeria to something else. I beg, come down from that office. Make another person take your position and do the needful. Not an answer if they try and heaven go for that. Enter it. And today, he 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 don't continue his second tenor, and the northerners they are the most affected people in the region. President Bola Metunubu, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, uh, government not favor them. They killed them where where hungry beat them where where because many of them was driven away from their ancestral land. You know, say their work then they do farm where where, uh -huh. even to eat becomes a problem. Now, we don't start another one. We can never see the truth because it's my brother. It's my king's man. We have the same religion. It's still in Nigeria. Make we wake up. We don't get different passports to Yoruba Hausa or Igbo passports. Now, only one Nigerian passport, now we get. But if we want to make this Nigeria greater and great, we just have to stand, you know, uh, uh, we want to accord, say, make this country better. The way when we did now, there is no light anywhere. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.